Hi lovelies, it's Ebony and I have a new Indie Oracle deck to share with you all today. It is the Illuminated Earth Oracle and look at this beauty. It is a deck that's come out in 2018 by Claire Mack and it's got that beautiful shiny cover. So a little thank you card came with it and Claire and I are connected via uh, Instagram first and then Etsy later. Now it is a 63 card deck. I have been seeing the cards a little bit come up in my Instagram feed as I find a lot of my decks by Instagram, but I haven't actually sat down and watched anybody else's unboxings because I like to have them as a first impression for myself as well. So I'm really, really excited to share this all with you. It's been hard to keep my grubby little mitts off them. <laughs> so let's switch cameras now and go through the Illuminated Earth Oracle. Okay, so now we're going to go through the cards in the Illuminated Earth Oracle. And you can see with that light coming in how uh, the gold is on the cover. I'm just going to pop the business card there. We have a beautiful green inside. Hardcover box. I love that green. Box was easy to open. That's always very handy. <laughs> okay, and now we have the guidebook. I'm going to come back to the guidebook once we've gone through the cards. Now, this is the back design. And it has, as you can see from the reflection in the window, it has that matte, smooth lamination. It's about the standard size of, it's sort of in between a, I like this size actually. It kind of reminds me of another um, Oracle deck in my collection. It's not gilded, but it's beautifully finished and it's gorgeous cardstock. It's at least 350 um, cardstock, if not 400. So it's a little bit different to a tarot card, but not by much. All right, now let's go through each one of the cards. I like to flip them over from the back so that I don't cheat and look. <laughs> okay, Wisdom. Gold. We have Water. It's beautiful. Vulnerability. The artwork is really stunning. It's it allows you to really dive in and interpret. I mean, that can look like an angel at the top there. Um, it's kind of got a bit of a Rorschach uh, feel about it. As well, you can see a lot of different patterns and moving into that space. Upheaval. I'm going backwards. I'm going from the last of the alphabet to the beginning, but that's okay. We can do that. Underworld. Ooh, mama like. Love snakes. I used to have one. That's so gorgeous. So simple, but so deep. Hoping the camera, I think it's picking up most of that detail in the background there. Transient, moon phases, the earth. A lot of beautiful detailing. It's so rich and you can definitely get that very earth element feel with these gorgeous, rich olive, greens and forest greens and I really like that. Tempest. And the colours are quite vibrant in real life. I'm angling them to a place in the camera so you can see the detail because it is winter. We're creeping up to midwinter so it gets pretty dark here. Support. That's so beautiful.
structure? The triangle is the strongest structure in nature. Did we know that? Stillness, now on these beautiful abstract art pieces. Source. So beautiful. Separate. Retreat. So there's a lot of very healing words in here. Um, I imagine this would be a very, very good deck to use for healing work. Responsibility. Resistance. I have a feeling I get that card come up a lot. <laughs> what are you resisting? <laughs> if it comes up when we do the draw, I am seriously going to laugh. Resilience. Renewal. Love that moving through the season, it's beautiful. Release, the shedding of all that gold. So, what would happen if you know the birds didn't really, if we didn't release things as we moved along? You know, we would just become stagnant and gross. Relationship. Oh, reincarnation, that's beautiful. I have a labyrinth in my deck too. Reflection. Protection. That's so powerful. Reminds me of the to keep silent part of the witch's pyramid. Productivity, are those bees? You know how much I love bees. Potential, what a lovely depiction of potential. Plants. Artwork is stunning. Phenomenon. It's a card that I don't see, or a keyword that I don't see used often in oracle decks, and I always like it when there's something different. Patience, probably another card I get a lot. Path, beautiful. Tibet. So gorgeous. Obstacle, yep. That's a rock. Mystery. Oh, multiverse. Oh, I like that. Different dimension, dimensions, 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 and realities and universes. And timelines. Moon. There's so lots of sacred geometry in this deck as well. Memory. So talented. Such beautiful artwork. Meander. Oh, I like that. Take the long way around. See the seas. That's so beautiful. Reminds me of... Um, in Australia, the uh, rainbow serpent is the creation god or creation spirit. 
And in where I'm from, <clears throat> in Perth, we have this, this the river called the Swan River, and it was created by um, a snake and the weaving of the snake, and that reminds me of that. Influence. The knock-on effect. Healing. That's gorgeous. Harmony. Grief. This is definitely, I feel like this is a very healing deck. Gifts. Fire. Fertility. Evolution. It's so beautiful. I have a feeling this is going to get a lot of work. In uh, a lot of readings are going to be used <clears throat> with this deck in 2019. Eruption. Erosion. When we erode those things away, we can see the beautiful layers. Epiphany. Earth. I love fungi. <laughs> I think they're so cool. <laughs> Dreams. Oh, that's so beautiful. Disguise. Destruction. Deluge. It's so pretty. There's a lot of places that could use that. Not here, it's raining a lot here. Decay. I love how some of this looks like oil slick, even though like we don't want oil in our elements. It's just the interesting way that it's sort of marbleized. Cosmos. Maybe that's a better way of looking at it, marbling that. Remember marbling at school using um, Paint and straws. Oh, I do. Connection. I love those blues. It's like my favorite palette of colors. Add some purple in there and it's like, love it all. Concealed, oh, I love that. That's awesome, that card. So simple, but so powerful. Combustion. Childhood. Hmm. Blocked. Balance. Attachment. Mm. Anguish. Air. Accomplishment. And abundance. <clears throat> okay, so going 
going to give them a shuffle. So, shuffle pretty well. Like, I mean, this cardstock is becoming more and more um, common, especially with indie creators. So I'm very used to it. guidebook for support so as you can see this is what you get in the guidebook support reassurance comes from loved ones in times of doubt know the support of friends and family as well as a community is available when difficult difficulties arise don't be afraid to reach out for help at these times you realize how valuable our friends can be so you can see quite a few of the card meanings here so about the art, oh, she does do modeling. <laughs> okay, and then we had a little bit about the symbols at the top there of each card. And a little bit about the oracle and then it jumps straight in. The real free formed oracle there. This is simply a beautiful, beautiful deck. Um, it's really rich feeling and just a really rich look like feeling is in the whole aesthetic, including the color palettes used. And it's quite colorful, even though it's got that more muted down to earth. It feels like being in a forest and I love being in a forest a lot. Um, I will put where you can support the very talented Claire Mack and the illuminated Earth Oracle uh, in the description of the video and you I'll put a link there and thank you as always for watching